series over. Yankees win. The Yankees win. I'm Ariel Agami with the MLB.com FastCast. D.D. Gregorius homer twice, and the Yankees beat the Indians 5-2 in Game 5 on Wednesday night to complete their comeback from a two-games-to-none deficit in the division series and dethrone the defending American League champions. The Yankees never trailed during the final three games of the ALDS. New York jumped out in front early again in this one, thanks to Gregorius, who launched a solo home run in the first and a two-run shot in the third off Corey Kluber. CC Sabathia rolled back the clock with nine strikeouts before turning things over to the bullpen in the fifth inning. David Robertson earned the win, hurling two and two-thirds hitless frames, and Aroldis Chapman converted a six-out save to make the Yankees the 10th team in history to advance after trailing 0-2 in a best-of-five postseason series. The difference between Friday and today is about as big as you can get. Um, I, I don't know at any point in my career that I felt worse than I did on Friday. I mean, these guys had my back, and they fought, fought, and again, they beat a really, really good team. Anybody can be the big hero for the game, you know, from top to bottom. That's what that's what it shows, though. <laughs> that's how it is, you know, from top to bottom. Everybody, you know, do their job, you know. That's, that's basically, we're not relying on one guy. You want every guy to come up in a big situation and come through for the team. We can win a lot of different ways. We've got a lot of different guys that can contribute, and tonight, um, tonight it happened to be a couple other guys, a couple of the old guys, but, you know, like I said, Didi's a... Uh, He's the one that set the tone. Corey Kluber is as tough as it gets. The Yankees staved off elimination for the fourth time this postseason and advanced to play the Houston Astros in the American League Championship Series beginning Friday at Minute Maid Park in Houston. After an absolutely brilliant performance by Steven Strasburg, he gets off the mat this morning and tells the Nationals, I want the baseball to pitch in game four to keep the Nationals' hopes alive. Steven Strasburg shook off an illness with seven dominant innings, and Michael A. Taylor hit a late grand slam as the Nationals beat the Cubs 5-zip to send the National League Division Series to a decisive Game 5. Strasburg got sick after his terrific performance in Game 1 last Friday, and the Nationals had planned to start Tanner Woark even after rain postponed Game 4 on Tuesday. But Strasburg felt better when he woke up Wednesday morning and told Dusty Baker he wanted the ball with Washington's season on the line. Strasburg delivered with seven scoreless frames, allowing just three hits with a playoff career-high 12 strikeouts to earn his first career postseason win. Yeah, I woke up this morning and, you know, I wouldn't say I, I felt, like, great, but, um, you know, I felt like I was better than what I was the day before, and so... You know, games like this, you know, you just you have to you have to go out there and give it everything you have, whatever it is. You know, I mean, he's a grown man. He made that decision on his own, and he wanted to pitch. He was very adamant about he wanted to pitch and, and how much better he was feeling. These two teams will head back to D.C. for a winner-take-all game five on Thursday. The Boston Red Sox are looking for a new manager after firing John Farrell on Wednesday following the team's second consecutive loss in the AL Division Series. Farrell managed the Red Sox to a World Series title in 2013, his first season in charge, and his contract had been scheduled to run through the 2018 campaign. I don't know if it's a popular move with the fans or not. That's uh, I don't know, not, I think, a lot of the fans, but that's not why you make decisions of this magnitude. You make moves because you think it's the best for an organization at a particular time. And to me, I think change is, is good for the organization and the manager's position for the Boston Red Sox going into 2018. For more on these stories and complete postseason coverage, keep it locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.